Hello everyone! This video will show the three ways on how to sketch the graph of a line in general form. Before we go farther, please feel free to check out the description below for the link of the other series of topics related to lines. Before we sketch the graph of this equation that we have right here, let's have a review on the basic information of the general form of a line. Standard form. This is having a formula ax plus by equals c. Now we remember that our a should always be positive. This standard form is generally used to determine the x and y intercepts of a line. So if we have here this line, it touches on this point on the y-axis and this point on the x-axis, we can determine the coordinates of these two points using this standard form. On the other hand, we also use this standard form in solving systems of equation. Okay, going back to the example right here, sketch the graph of the line 2x plus y equals negative 6. We're going to have the first method of uh, drawing the general form of a line, and that is determining the x and the y intercepts. So what are we going to do here is that we will determine the x intercept first. So to do that, we are going to let y equals 0 and solve for x. So what we do is we will plug in 0 to the y and we're going to solve for x. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that down here. So that would be 2x plus y equals negative 6. So what we do is we change the y to 0. So this would come out 2x plus our y now is 0 equals negative 6. So then we go ahead and solve for x. So in this case right here, this would come out 2x equals negative 6. And then we solve for x by dividing both sides by 2, divide this by 2. So this gives us x is equal to negative 3. This tells us that the first coordinate would be negative 3, that's the value of x, and the y here is 0. So we can go ahead and plot this point, negative 3, 0, so this is our first dot. Now we will determine the y-intercept. To do that, we're supposed to let x equal 0 and solve for y. So I'm going to go ahead and write it down here. So to solve for the y-intercept, we are going to let x equal 0 and we solve for y. So in this case right here, I'm going to plug in 0 to the x and then I will solve for the y. So the x becomes 0, 2 times 0 is 0, and then that's plus y equals negative 6. This tells us that our y is negative 6. So the coordinate for the y-intercept would be 0, that's the x, and then the y value is negative 6. So I'm going to go ahead and plot that point right here. 0, negative 6 is all the way down here. So this is our y-intercept. And now we're ready to sketch the graph. So this is the graph of this equation that we have up there. Now let's move on to the second method of sketching the graph of a line in general form. The second method of sketching a graph in general form is to change it to its slope-intercept form. That means we are going to isolate y by itself here. So in this case right here, I'm going to go ahead and um, rewrite that equation. So again, our target is to isolate y by itself. So we go ahead and subtract x from both sides, minus x. So this will give us, we can cross the x out, that is negative 3y equals negative x plus 9. And again, we are going to isolate y by itself. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 3, divide this by negative 3, and this is divided by negative 3. So we can cross this out. So we are left with y equals, there's an invisible 1 in front of the x, so I can go ahead and write 1 over 3. The reason why this gets positive because negative divided by a negative is a positive. So it becomes positive 1 third x minus 9 divided by negative 3 is a negative, so that is a negative 3. So we can go ahead and determine the slope of um, the line. So the slope of the line would be, so we write the slope down here, that would be 
one third. So I write one over three. Now we remember that if we have a slope of a line, if the numerator is positive, we go up. If the numerator is positive, we go right. So we go up and right because both of them are positive. So I'm gonna go ahead and label that down here. And our y-intercept here is negative three because remember, this is our slope and this is our y-intercept. So the y-intercept is negative three. So we're gonna start plotting the y-intercept first. That's a negative three. And then from here, we go ahead and go up one, right three. So up one, right three, one, two, three. So this is the next dot. Then I go up one, right three. So up one, one, two, three. So this is the next dot right here. Now we to determine the points on the opposite side, we go the other way around. So instead of going up, we go uh, down one and left three. So I go down one, left three, one, two, three. So this is the next dot. And then I go down one, left three, one, two, three. So this is the next dot. So I'm gonna go ahead and sketch the line of this equation. Now let's move on to the next example. The third method of sketching the standard form of a line is to change this standard form to its equivalent double intercept form or two intercepts form. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this equation down here. For the double intercept form or the two intercepts form, we are supposed to make the right side equal to one every time. So what we do is we will divide then this by 10 so that this becomes one on the right side. And then if we divide 10 on the right side, we're going to divide 10 to all of them. And so this is how the equation is going to look like. So that would be reduce this to the lowest term. So this is x over 2 because there's like two fives in 10. And then the, this is a negative. And then that would be a plus y over, there are five um, twos in 10. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna write five here. So then this is equal to one. And so this is what we call as the double intercept form or the two intercepts form of a line. So what we just did is uh, we uh, reduced it to lowest term. That means there's one five in five and there's two, five in 10. There's one, two in two, and there's five twos in 10. And so that's how we got the value. So this tells us that our x intercept is negative two, and the y intercept is five. So I'm going to go ahead and write it down here. So what we do is to sketch this um, x and y intercept. So the x intercept is negative two. So it's gonna sit right here. That's on the x axis, negative two. The y intercept is five. This goes all the way up here. And so we go ahead and sketch the line. So this is the line of this equation that we have up there. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.